Good morning students. Today's class will some of the minor disorders of pregnancy. Many women experience some minor disorders during pregnancy. These disorders should be treated adequately as they may be escalate and become life threatening. Many minor disorder may occur due to hormonal changes, accommodation changes, metabolic changes and postural changes. Every system of body may manifest means affected by the pregnancy. The digestive system, the, main, the major ones are the nausea and vomiting, constipation, acidity and heartburn, excessive salivation or thylism, abdominal discomfort and pica. Nausea and vomiting, especially in the morning, soon after getting out of the bed, so it is called as morning sickness, usually common in primary gravida. 50% of women will have miss both nausea and vomiting, 25% will have nausea only and 25% are unaffected. Most commonly occurs during the first 10 weeks related to higher levels of HCG. The management in good dietary management that we will see later. Behavior modification, hospitalization may necessary to correct fluid and electrolyte balance in severe cases. Explanation, reassurance, symptomatic relief of, are sufficient. Avoid disagreeable odors and rich, spicy or gray, greasy foods. Drink water or other fluids between meals to avoid dehydration or cirrhosis. Medication, well known over the counter drugs should be administered and only when absolutely indicated and prescribed. The dietary modification include before bed or during the night, eat a food that contains protein such as beans, nuts or cheese. Eat few bananas, try bread, try kheeta or other grain food upon waking up in the morning. Eat many small meals instead of two or three larger meals and should take sips of liquid often. Drink a cup of mint, cinnamon or ginger tea two or three times a day before meals. Put a teaspoon of mint leaves or stick of cinnamon in a cup of boiling water and let the tea sit for a few minutes before drinking it to eat. To make the ginger tea, boil the crush or slice ginger root in the water for at least 15 minutes. Constipation is a quite common element. At atonicity of the gut due to effect of progesterone, diminished physical activity and pressure of the gravity uterus on the pelvic colon, sluggish bowel functions are the possible explanations of constipation. The management, regular bowel habit can be restored, emphasize ample fruit fluids and laxative foods and prescribe a stool softener if unnecessary. Purgative should be avoided because of possibility of inducing labor. Exercise and good bowel habits are helpful. Mineral oils contraindicated because it absorbs fat soluble vitamins from the bowel and leaks from the anus. Eat more fruits and vegetables. Eat wall grains, brown rice and wall wheat instead of white rice and white flour. Drink at least 8 cups of clean water a day. Walk, move and exercise every day. Try home or plant-based remedies like, like soften the stool or make it slippery like remedies made from the telba seeds, certain fruits or fiber plants. Acidity and heartburn. Due to relaxation of the esophageal sphincter and hiatus hernia, the heartburn or pyrosis or acid indigestion result from gastroesophageal reflux disease in almost 10% of all gravidas. Late pregnancy, this may be aggravated by displacement of stomach and diurnum by the uterine fundus. Most likely to occur when the patient is lying down or bending over. Management include to avoid overeating and not to go to bed immediately after the meal. Liquid and acids may be helpful. Sleeping in a semi-reclining position with high pillows. This hernia is reduced spontaneously after delivery and symptomatic treatment not surgery is recommended. Hot tea and change of posture are helpful. Calcium containing antacids and histamine. The sub antagonist pregnancy category B to reduce gastric irritations. Excessive salivation. Increased secretion of saliva is observed during pregnancy. It may be associated with increased intake of starch, so the actual cause is not, still unknown. Management this problem is usually self-limiting and may be overcome by decreasing intake of hard work heritage. This is not associated with any adverse effect on the pregnancy outcome. Abdominal discomfort. Due to pressure, pelvic heaviness is caused by the weight of uterus and pelvic supports and abdominal wall. Round ligament tension. Tenderness along the course of the round ligament during late pregnancy is due to traction on the structure of the, by the uterus, which is displaced by the large bowel to be rotated slightly to the right. Flatulence and distension can be due to large meals, gas-forming foods and chilled beverages. These are poorly tolerated by the pregnant woman. It is managed by rest frequently, preferably in the, last, in the lateral recumbent position, local heat and change of position, dietary modification, regular bowel function should be maintained and exercise is beneficial. Acetaminone times daily may be of value. Indra abdominal disorders must be diagnosed and treated appropriately. Pica. 
is a term used when the mother craves certain food unnatural or a substance like coal the cause is unknown but hormones and changes in metabolism are thought to contribute this if substance crave are harmful to the unborn baby mother must be helped to seek medical advice musculoskeletal system include fatigue backache leg cramps and prolonged ligament pain fatigue a pregnant woman is more subject to fatigue during the last trimester of pregnancy because of altered posture and extra weight carried anemia and other systemic disease must be ruled out frequently respirators are recommended backache common problem in 50 percentage of pregnancy physiological changes that contribute to backache are joint ligament laxity weight gain hyperlordosis and anterior tilt of the pelvis may be due to faulty position and high heel shoes muscular spasm urinary infection or constipation fatigue muscle spasm or postural back strain is often responsible for this backache management excessive weight gain should be avoided trust with elevation of leg to flex the hips may be helpful improvement of posture well fitted pelvic girdle belt which corrects the lumbar lordosis during the walking and resting is first in the hard bed improvement of posture is often achieved by wearing low heel shoes to achieve proper posture the abdomen should be flattened the pelvic tilting forward and buttocks stuck under the straightened back massaging the back muscles and adjust and rest back exercises under supervision of a rehabilitation physician or orthopedist or a physical therapist recommend a sleep in a firm fed means mattress apply local heat and light massage to relax tense taut and back muscles give us a terminon orally if require obtain orthopedic consultation if disability result not neurological signs signs symptoms indicator prolapse in the vertebral disc syndrome and radiculitis leg cramps it is quite common usually in the leg worse at night the cause of leg cramps in pregnancy is not known but it may be due to deficiency of vitamin b1 and of diffusible serum calcium or elevation of serum phosphorus it may be due to ischemia and changes in the ph or electrolyte balance status supplementary calcium therapy in tablet or syrup after the principal meals may be effective massaging leg application of local heat and intake of vitamin b1 daily may be effective sleep with foot and elevation by 20 to 25 cm once the cramp is so called gentle needling is effective round ligament pain the stretching of round ligament during the moment in pregnancy which may cause sharp pain in the groins this pain is and unilateral and bilateral it is usually felt in the second trimester onwards it is more common in right side of as a result of de- dextor rotation of uterus pain may be awakening at night time because of sudden roll over movements during the sleep management pain may be reduced by making movements of gradual instead of sudden local heat application may be helpful analgesia is rarely needed circulatory system minor disorders include varicose vein hemorrhoids syncope ankle edema the ve- the legs and vulva varicosities or the rectum the hemorrhoids may appear for the first time or aggravate during pregnancy usually in the later months due to obstruction the venous returned by the pregnant uterus due to smooth muscle relaxation weakness of vascular walls and incompetent walls management for leg varicosities elastic crepe bandage during the moments and elevation of the limbs during rest can be symptomatic relief elevate legs above the level of her body and control excessive weight gain avoid forceful massage and point pressure over the legs if more severe leg or vulva vulvar varicosities however job stress clay or torn garment may be necessary to obtain venous compression injections of cervical correction of varicose veins usually not recommended during pregnancy hemorrhoids it may be annoying complications like bleeding or may get prolapse may cause considerable discomfort straining at stool often causes hemorrhoids especially in a woman prone to varicosities management include regular use of laxative local application of hydrocortisone ointment surgical treatment is better to be withheld as the condition improves following delivery treat constipation early do not switch off sits bath rectal ointment suppositories and mild laxatives are indicated post operatively or post delivery injection treatments are contraindicated syncope or faintness when present with dizziness or light heartiness or standing upright abruptly on or following standing up of a prolonged period following prolonged standing or standing upright due to pooling of blood in the veins of the lower extremity and compression of the pelvic veins by the gravity uterus other causes may be dehydration hypoglycemia or overexertion management syncope is usually resolved rapidly on lying in a left lateral position syncope in supine position is also managed by resting in lateral recumbent position Rec- 
The recurrence in Gopnir's cardiological evaluation encouraged the patient to eat six small meals in a day rather than three large ones. Stimulants like spirits, ammonia, or coffee are indicated for attacks due to possible hypertension. Angle edema, evidence by marked gain in the weight or evidence of preeclampsia, develop in at least two thirds of women in late pregnancy due to water retention and increased venous pressure in the leg. Generalized edema, always serious, must, means must be investigated. No treatment is required for physiological edema or orthostatic edema. Edema subsides on rest, slight elevation of the limbs. Diuretics is not prescribed. Treatment is largely preventive and symptomatic. Patient should be elevated her legs frequently. Restrict excessive salt intake can provide elastic support for diuretics. May reduce edema temporarily but may be harmful for the mother and fetus as it will be increase the systemic fluid volume. Nervous system, insomnia, headache, and carpet noise syndrome. Insomnia is relatively common in late pregnancy owing to the discomfort caused by fetal movement, frequency of maturation, and difficulty in finding comfortable position. It may also due to some deep seated anxiety or fear. Management include take rest in the afternoon, drink a glass of warm milk at bedtime, tuck a pillow under the abdomen when lying in a lateral position, talk about her fear and anxiety so that she can be, have a sense of normality and lightness. Headache. Headache in pregnancy is common and usually due to tension. Refractive errors and ocular imbalance are not caused by normal pregnancy. Severe persistent headache in the third trimester must be regarded as a symptomatic of preeclampsia or eclampsia until proven otherwise. Some women have migraine headaches. These are strong headaches often to one side of the head. The woman may see spots and feel nauseated. Bright light or sunshine can make them worse. Migraines may not be get worse in the pregnancy. May get worse in pregnancy. Management. Migraines medicine is very dangerous in pregnancy. It can cause labor to start too soon. And also it may also harm the baby. It is better to take a migraine to take a 500 to 1000 milligram of paracetamol with a glass of water and take rest in the dark room. Although coffee and black tea are usually not healthy pregnancy, they are okay occasionally and they may help you cure the migraine. Carpet tunnel syndrome, pain and numbness in the thumb, index and middle finger, weakness in the muscle or thumb movements due to compression effect of the median nerve, physiological changes in pregnancy with the retention of excess fluid are the common cause. Management, the treatment is mostly symptomatic, the spin is applied during the sleep at the time to be like slightly flexed wrist to give relief. Corticosteroid injection or cervical decompression is rarely needed. It results spontaneously following delivery. Gentle urinary system include vaginal discharge, leukorrhea, and urinary symptoms. Vaginal discharge assurance to the patient and advice for the local cleanliness are all required. Presence of any infection should be treated with vaginal application of metronidazole or micosol. Leukorrhea, gradual increase in the amount of non-irritating vaginal discharge due to estrogen stimulation of cervical mucus is normal during pregnancy. Such vaginal fluid is milky, thin, non-irritating unless infection has occurred. Persistent external moisture due to mucus may cause mild pruritis, but itching is rarely severe without infection. Management Reassure the patient with this protective perineal pads. Excessive leukorrhea accompanied by pruritiasis or discoloration of secretions may indicate bleeding or infection requiring treatment. Urinary symptoms, urinary frequency, urgency, and stress incontinence in multipolars are common, especially in advanced pregnancy, due to increase in the abdominal pressure and reduced bladder capacity. Suspect urinary tract infection if dysuria or hematuria is present. Management, when urgency is particularly troublesome, limit caffeine, spices, and popular beverages. Take 8 ounces of glass of Canberra juice, assist in both maintaining urinary acidity as well as decreasing urinary tract infections. Respiratory system, breathlessness. Breathlessness is not an actual dyspnea, it's the progesterone effect. Non-smokers and other free of cough or allergic problems, breathlessness occurs as early as 12th week of pregnancy and most women will have this symptom by 30th week. Management, that is no effective treatment. Indigmentary system, skin, some mothers complain of generalized itching which often starts over the abdomen due to have some connection with the liver's response to hormones in pregnancy and with the raised bilirubin level. It Clean, soft, soon after the baby is born and comfort can be gained from local application of antihistamine. If often prescribed, mother complained of vulvar 
valvular irritation in inf infection is first and glycosuria as a result of diabetes must be excluded washing with mild soap and cotton underwear might help to ease the irritation feeling of hot or sweating hot a lot feeling of hot is a common in pregnancy as long as there is no other warning signs the woman should not be worried she can thus cool clothes bath frequently use a paper fan or large leaf and drink plenty of water and other fluids colasma reassure the woman that the dark discoloration is not harmful and usually most of the color goes away after the birth a woman may able to avoid developing dark areas on her face by wearing a hat when she go out in the sun changing feelings and emotions pregnancy is a important time in the woman's life her baby is growing inside her her body is changing and she needs more food and more rest as a woman body is changes her relationship her sexuality and her work life can be changed too pregnancy can make women very emotional some women laugh or cry with no clear reason some feel depressed angry or irritable or laughing or crying and other sudden mood changes strong feelings are normal they usually pass quickly but do not ignore woman's feelings simply because she is pregnant her feelings are real worry and fear many women worry that they are pregnant especially about babies that they about giving birth a woman worries about her problems in her life may also become stronger when she is pregnant this worries are normal that do not mean something bad will happen women with these feelings need emotional support like someone to listen to their worries and encourage them to feel hopeful they also need help to solve the problems they are having in their lives like problems with their partners money drugs or alcohol or other issues disorders which need immediate action include vaginal bleeding reduced fetal movement frontal or recurring headaches and swelling or edema rupture of membrane premature onset of contraction sudden nausea and sickness epigastric pain summary the minor disorders of pregnancy the, we, in, we have seen about digestive system musculoskeletal system circulatory system nervous system genito urinary system respiratory system integumentary system and one thing i forgot about the breast tenderness the main cause of secret the breast tenderness are estrogen and progesterone increased vascularity most exposure to cold the brag of the wireless traps and plus wamly and fissures and abscess should be noted and it should be treated as early as possible Thank you for your cooperation and attention.